speaking about social media, yeah. I'd like you to look at <laughs> camera four and give us your social media handles. Okay, check on uh, men on Twitter, we're on Mentathon, mm -hmm. Mentathon, at Mentathon, on Facebook is at Mentathon, mm -hmm. uh, and myself is at Oscar Kimani, mm -hmm. and the hashtag is Mentathon, hashtag Y254 channel. Okay, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> Okay, so that was the second program. Yeah. Talk, uh, is there another program? Yes, the third program, uh, which is now maybe very exciting, is called Youth Connect. Now, we realized, us in the urban areas as young people, we have access to a lot of information that is not accessible for rural youth. The urban young person can always find a cyber in their area. They can always find somebody who knows. But you have found that a lot of rural youth do not have access to these opportunities. Mm -hmm. And now the interesting thing is, is almost 100% opportunities for young people right now are available online. Mm -hmm. Whether it's help, this application is online. Whether it's a job at PSC, the Public Service Commission for Government is online. Whether it's a training, whether right now it's KYOP program, all those programs are available online. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this online uh, facilities to help young people to go online and apply for those facilities are not existing. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we started doing is this, is just sharing information. Okay. And I know uh, in the last one year you have one of, been one of the biggest proponents of HELB, especially for TV students, because I know HELB we know it majorly for mm -hmm. campus students. Mm -hmm. But the ones who score between a C plane and an E, there is money from government mm -hmm that is not really accessible for many because they don't even know about it. So we have been one of the biggest, uh, as mentors, one of the biggest proponents of help to tell young people, even if you don't make it for university, government has money for you to go to college. And there are almost, two, I think, 286 institutions that are approved by government to receive money from government for you to go to school. Even the students with an E, mm -hmm. there are courses available for yes, them. Yes, vocational training. Vocational training. Absolutely. Uh, and anyone who does a D plus and above can start from certificate and they can go to to diploma and the same person actually can go to university. So that is the first thing I've been doing. But now what is most exciting about this year? We have realized not every area has mm -hmm. these facilities. Mm -hmm. So we are building up digital centers across the country mm -hmm. to help young people that if you come to this space, mm -hmm. you will find 15 opportunities available for you. You don't have to go looking for the opportunities. We want to concentrate opportunities, the information about opportunities. But secondly, we want to give you a way you can apply for them. Okay. Because I've found like almost 90% of opportunities for young people. Because it was about to Online. the process yeah. of, of application the process of application is online online okay. yeah so you go on a website you upload documents but the problem is, is some of these applications you can't even do with a phone they are very very tedious and they are heavy so I, I, had, the an I had an experience uh, helping some young people from where I come from in Moranga to to apply for help and they really travel far to get a proper working cyber. Mm -hmm. So we asked ourselves, why don't you set up some digital centers? So we've gotten two partners already, and 2021, 20, we're going to be setting out a number of digital centers across the country. And not just having a computer that has an internet connection, mm -hmm. but when somebody comes over there and asks, what is available? you find a list of 5, 10, 15 opportunities that you can try. Because the issue is not just having a computer in your house. The issue is, is do you know what that computer can help you access? And that's now where the Youth Connect program is coming through. All right. Yep. That is the, the final that's program. That's program. There's another program? No. no there are three programs. Now. So let's yeah. look at the coverage yeah. uh, so far since. Uh, this is your, the, uh, this year we're having an edition? Yes, we have edition. So it's, those are, it's going to be the, the fourth, fourth yes, edition. the fourth edition. So let's look at the coverage yeah. uh, in the span of those... Uh, four years. Four years. Yeah. So, yeah, we have the red slots. We started with LG Market County. Mm -hmm. Oh, this image is always moving. <laughs> <laughs> So we started with LG of Maracuete County in 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2017, did LG of Maracuete County. Mm -hmm. no, in 2018. Uh, and then 29, uh, 2019, we did like Kipia. Mm -hmm. We did Nairobi, because we started doing the mental enterprise in Nairobi. Uh, we did Moranga County. Uh, 2020, we were supposed to have grown to West Pocot County. But, but Corona happened. happened. But mm -hmm. now, because Corona is yet to stay. By the way, there is no post Corona. Corona mm -hmm. is yet to stay. It's our new normal. So, in 2021, we're going to do Moranga County, Laikipia County, El Gemarakot County, West Pokot County, and Nairobi County. And I'm curious how yeah. you're going to achieve that, considering uh, from the images that you've gotten to see, it's uh, when it comes to the terrain. Uh, yes, it's I full tell packed. You, I tell you, it's. it's, it's you must love travel. You must love heavy logistics to enjoy this. Otherwise, uh, the biggest job around organizing Mentathon is the logistical side of it. Mm -hmm. Because we have to get mentors. And I always say we cannot get late going to meet high school students. We can't say an event starts at 8 
and, uh, and 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 we land there at ten. So it's a it's a it's a very exciting, especially for me, very exciting uh, planning for on the events. But now with Corona, uh, we have to think technology, and we are actually I think I had even mentioned to you this before. We are we are trying to seek some few broadcast partners because if you cannot make two high school students, two schools to meet according to the Ministry of Education rules. We can meet them on your screen because every school has a TV screen. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. So we have to be extremely creative. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Uh, corona is not going away. It is mm -hmm. us to do that. So we'll do a mix of events. Uh, what you call the what you call town hall events mm -hmm. for school, high schools. We are almost getting the idea on how you're gonna run it out. But I can assure you, mm -hmm. 2021. Mental one is back live. Mm. We cannot wait for Corona to go away because it's not going away anyway. Absolutely. And you don't have even to know what learn how to so live with it. If I come to Y254, please be very kind to us. We, yes, we will be kind to you. You uh, will just have to approach us <laughs> <in> the right <laughs> way. <laughs> no, we are, we are good at approaches. We have, a, we have very good successes. I think uh, part of our success I must mention is partners. Uh -huh. uh, with the Youth Connect thinking, mm -hmm. one of the things we do is we work with partners that help us achieve what we want to achieve. Mm -hmm. We work with people like HELP, we work with people like CASNAB, we work with people like KCCA, mm -hmm. we have worked with partners like banks, we have worked with partners uh, uh, like even Kenjan and Media Pronta, uh, we have worked with partners like KMTC. Mm -hmm. We look for partners who have something to offer for the young people. Absolutely. So when you go and work with HELP, we know. In then why to five four is the best option? Now why to five four is the newest the kid on the block and the so best <laughs> option for you because yeah, so it's all about so the you. So you're sure if you decide people. to work together with us, let's say maybe twenty five. I'm just 50, telling you, it's the best option. Or fifty thousand young people will be watching it for it's two days. It's the only best option that so you get. So you, it's, 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 it's <laughs> do not lose this opportunity. At the end of it all, yeah. uh, Oscar, this is a business. Yeah. Let's look at it in a business angle. Exactly. So how, how do you monetize? Yeah, uh, and I was coming to that. So how you monetize this? I can tell you because of the expenses involved. Number one is partners. So being a non-profit, we work with with getting partners on board. But what we offer partners is number one an audience. These partners, we, that's what I was telling you, we get partners who have something to offer for young people. Casneba have courses. They have a beautiful introductory course for even students who don't make it for the threshold of the main CPAs. So how do we let these opportunities available in Casneba? Even SEC have the same, mm -hmm. and we bring it to young people. So we work with complementing partners who are looking forward to these young people coming on board, but more importantly, who offer a lifeline for these young people. That's number one. But secondly, we get a lot of kind donations. I mean, we have seen organizations give us vehicles, give us drivers, and Mentagon is mentors are not paid; it's volunteer. So that's the so you take care of your transport, you take care of your accommodation. I have to be grateful to people like Stratum University give us a bus all the time. So the bus, in case you don't have a vehicle, if you get to Strathmore, you get a bus to West Pocot, and the bus will bring you back after four days. All right. Yeah. So so those kind of partners make uh, the program to work because we are dealing with because we are not seeking this as a profit uh, venture it's a social enterprise so just want to make sure that the costs are paid if the costs are paid and the young people are motivated we don't even have to make a coin out of it yeah so that's the model we've been using so it's a volunteer partners model all right that is on the high school aspect yes. of it let's look at the second program mental on enterprise yes so mental on enterprise still works on the same that's an example we work with the bank mm -hmm. So we work with the bank as a training partner, or we work with a, with a provider. Let's say, I'll give you an example, just for the sake of it. You find uh, this organization has started this program for enterprise for them. Mm -hmm. What they're looking for is this. All these things, what you have seen work for us, is we're dealing with an enterprise-driven model in everything. So partners is still the best way that we get this, this to work. So right now, mm -hmm. the organization you get on board, I'm, I'm very careful not to mention, mention organization, as you find I'm trying very to sure. scatter around it, mm -hmm. is that the organization you work with, whether you find a lot of institutions right now are putting up what you call a social enterprise model to their day to day business. So it is training young people, it's helping young people, but it's helping them do their day to day business. A good example is what if the government decides that they want to register farmers? And, uh, and what they do, they have this program and they get every young person, wherever they are, to be trained and they can go around with their cell phone and go and register farmers. Mm -hmm. Before the government would have done what? Would have had to recruit and pay and all those kind of things. But every young person in their village has a smartphone with data. It is possible for that person to do that work more cheaply, but you give them a chance to do something. Because every young person is being asked for experience. 
when you're asking for your CV, two years of experience, and I know for many young guys, the most frustrating thing you think, I'm just out of campus. Very you true. want two years of experience. But experience doesn't have to be a job. I tell young people in campus, please do something with clubs. Lead a club somewhere, lead an initiative somewhere. In your church, lead an initiative somewhere. Wherever you are, there's something that you can do. And you always mm -hmm. tell young people, the easiest way to get experience is to volunteer. Mm -hmm. There's always an opportunity nearby where we are to volunteer. And you have seen many guys who have pushed that direction to volunteer. And they end up being so good, they end up being taken up. Mm -hmm. So part of even helping young people to see the opportunities around them, around what you call Youth Connect, is telling them, if you're a campus student and you're four months at home, and you're back in, 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 in Muranga somewhere, or you're back in Karachunyo somewhere, there must be an, a public institution somewhere where you are. Is it a school? Is it a hospital? Is it a government office? Just, volunteer. Just go there and tell the DO or the Deputy County Commissioner, I'm here to work. Mm -hmm. Tell me what I can help you with. No one will fail to take help. Mm -hmm. Volunteering. But that person, the what they'll do to you, they'll train you. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you by the way, I'm going to wear new files and a stapler. I want you to have some of the skills that young people lack is even how to put paperwork right in a file. And I'm sure if you give somebody a job and they file so badly, can you give them another thing to do for you? Mm -mm. So, yeah. tell me, so those soft skills, learn how to do paperwork, learn how to organize an office, learn even how to arrive early in the morning. The easiest way is volunteer. Wherever you are, there's an opportunity wherever you are. And I've seen many guys, a guy comes to volunteer, they end up actually getting paid for it. The issue is to get away from the traditional, I have to drop an application with a letter from school saying that I need to do internship as part of my fulfillment of my degree. Mm -hmm. It sounds good, but it is your degree, not my degree. That's true. The issue is, is how can you do the same thing but in a better way? All right. A yeah. uh, couple of challenges as we wind up. Challenges, of course, uh, financing a huge program can financing. be quite tight. Okay. So myself and my co-founders, when things get tight, you get into your pocket. Mm -hmm. But the best thing about it is, is the motivation or the payoff for that is for us who are stuck in corporate for the whole year it washes you of the sins of corporate you know when you're working all of us are trying to be the lead to be the best and sometimes to knock some few guys off your way mm -hmm. the beauty of being in front of students to speak is this it's not a competition no one gains from mentor mm -hmm. you actually pay for your own trip mm -hmm. so what happens i've seen with mentors is when you come from mentor or when you come from mentorship it cleans you up more you end up being the biggest beneficiary of your own story that those people you're speaking to. Because there are so many things, Michelle, by now you have really watered down mm -hmm. and you don't think they're as important. So financing has been a challenge, but what you have done is to overcome that, is to work with partners. Mm -hmm. And now beautifully we started seeing long-term partners coming on board for us. And just that resilience you're telling young people about. Mm -hmm. We have been resilient for four years and now we have seen now even partners calling and saying, hey, can I work with you to do this program right now. So I say right now, we're not in too much of challenge, selling a little bit, but we want to make this a national program and we hope the government can even take it up and make it a national mentorship program because every young person needs to hear a story of another successful young person ahead of them. Absolutely, and yeah. I'm looking forward towards that and we can have this conversation again Definitely. on that particular level. And I hope I've recruited you to be a mentor. Uh, looking forward. Yes. Thank you very much. So that is Oscar Kimani, Vice President uh, Mentor Mentathon. Foundation. A foundation. Yeah. Give us the social media handles again. As at men, Twitter is at Mentathon, Facebook is Mentathon, uh, myself is at Oscar Kimani, and the hashtag is Mentathon, hashtag Y254 channel. Ah, okay. Thank you very much, Oscar Kimani, uh, for you, creating Michelle. time to be with us and having this conversation. All right. Yeah. So, guys, make sure you don't have that. I'll be right back as we wind up. And uh, yeah, I'll be reading your comments, so make sure you stay tuned right here on Y254 at Y254 channel at Michelle Shirazo. You can find me across all my socials. Thank you.